Slark, Slark is one of those carries that generally wants to fight a little bit, right? Like, he yeah. likes to be combative. That's why Shadow Blade was so popular on him for a long time. He likes to fight around item timings. PL is is pretty okay if you just leave him alone for 60 minutes and then take one big fight at the end if he could have his way. It's also just the late game talents aren't that good for Slark. Yeah, yeah, like they're, yeah. they're okay talents, but they're not game changing talents. It's like one more second of shadow dance or the mm -hmm. essence shift duration. It's like okay, like cool, yeah. but I mean credit to Liquid for how well they handled that early game because it seemed like they were starting to fall into that same sort of trap, and they <laughs> then they stunned it. Iceberg five times. Right. Well, they they pulled you know they put the brakes on. They're like, guys, wait a second. We need to change this up. We need to find a pick. We got to catch these guys. We have the tools. Why did we buy this toolbox and then not use the tools? It's genius. <laughs> Thank you for that. Mad respect for uh, digging through the bottom of the box and finding the hammer. Now, uh, Pangalier going to be banned out this game by Liquid. Justified. What about Rubik? Is he going to make it through now? Ruby Tuesday, available in game one, banned out in game two, and Undying, banned in all three games. Come on, Liquid. Come on. I think Insania wants to play that Rubik, too, because... I mean, Tiger plays it, obviously, as well, but they're also willing to put it on the five because Insania got his little cosmetic. He got the golden cape from the Liquid Org, which he was very excited about and tweeted about. So, you know, he's like... I saw him get one game on it already. He wants a couple more. Last ban from Fly to Moon. Take care of his Oracle. So that means the Grimstroke's still in. Okay. And, and they want the room again. Immediate Oracle. Let's go. Snap pick. But well, you know Liquid's plan. Yeah. You know, all right. Give us Oracle or give us Rubik. We're good. Thank you. And that and kind of. Now, now, again, do you take the Grim Stroke or no? If you're Fly to Moon. Yeah. Or do you do the Coddle plus one again? The Grim Stroke is tempting. I mean, if I were Fly to Moon, I'd be tempted to do Grim Stroke Mars right here and deny the Mars pick from Liquid and take a really solid combo for myself. Yeah, you can't really draft your whole time thinking like, oh, well, this spell is good versus, or like Rubik, oh, Rubik's good versus Grim Stroke because he always gets Soulbind. It's like eventually you just got to try and pick some your own good heroes and hope that you'll land your spells better than they do. Yes, right. Yeah, you can't. You can't get in your own head and just say, all right, we can't play our comfort heroes. I mean, I, I probably wouldn't pick like Earthshaker Enigma Tidehunter, but mm -hmm. still. They go with the DP. So general pretty much run in these drafts, right? Game two, they banned the Death Prophet because of how well it went for game one for him. And now game two, they banned the Pango instead. So now he just gets the Death Prophet again. And we're, we're getting a like in this game, guys. It's happening. That is a That's a guarantee. He's the Wolfman's coming out. I don't know for who, but someone's getting the Wolfman. And not the Luna, hopefully. Yeah, I would agree there. So, well, Shadow Team's already banned. Oracle's banned. Fixes, who helps Death Prophet? You know, I was say, this fixes some of their push issues, but what's the combo? Are we finally going to see a Dazzle? Negative. My it's uh, it's a new face, though, so I was part right. It's Ogre. So this basically replaces the Jakiro because it's like... Oh, I mean, first off, Ogre is kind of annoying versus Rubik because Rubik just gets, like, again, all better versions of your spells. But uh, he uh, he's very single target in the lane. Like, he just walks at you and fire blasts and beats you down. But he is one of the tankier supports to try and help because Rubik is often paired with like Centaur or Mars and uh, mm -hmm. they just run at your, your safe lane. So trying to secure a V-Tune early. Any reason not to take Mars? We've talked about how good Boxy is with it. They pick up the Queen of Pain instead. Is Mars worth a ban for Fly to Moon now at this point? Uh, I mean, if you Mars, they're just going to Centaur. And Centaur is really good versus Death Prophet. I feel like I'd rather have Centaur to just get away from the, um, the ulti. Personally, I mean that is that is good. I think the queen's better though uh, in that pick because they're ninth pick, right? Sure. So they want that potential mid or side lane queen, <laughs> and they can ban the one hero that does well in the DK. Like that. I mean, Queen of Pain, if she's not off lane with Mars, is still so that big team fight and drop the arena, Sonic Wave on top. There's still some synergy there. 
I guess it depends if Liquid are taking it from the approach of we want to be the aggressors that set the fights, or if we want something a little more defensive so that we can react every time DP ults. Like the we had Nick a safe lane queen last time with Koikva on the Lycan. They, they took the Lycan to the mid. I knew it. I knew it. They knew. Damn. Well, I guess my guarantee still counts, guys. Because he got banned. I feel like that's that's fair. A worthy ban. Uh, Grimstroke makes it through, though. Grimstroke Ogre? It's pretty good. We'll put you on the four. Uh, Grimstroke, who can be good, just needs the right combos. Uh, who has really punished these Queens of Pains lately? I feel like Beastmaster's made her life free. Where's Beastmaster? Has he been ignored all day? Or all this draft? This two series? What? This These two games? Isn't he like the best hero right now? <laughs> Hello? Yeah. So I don't know, that game three meta. We're getting That's into true. like comfort picks. You know, this is like game three elimination. You're you're like hyper analyzing. This is where the counters on the counters start to come out. Yeah, the five brain gets a little out of control. You know, yeah, too much yeah. brain swelling is bad for you guys. That's a you good gotta concussion. start switching it up. Like, is Fly to Moon gonna do something crazy here? Like pick Magnus PA and then do the empower with bloodlust on a crazy yeah, right. carry or Tenth troll a Meepo or something. Troll you know? Magnus. Right, they could grab that in this second banning phase. The ogre makes me wonder if they want to buff up a super carry. They tend to just like ogre as uh, because I like, always saw Fly plays old school supports. That's why he plays like Undying and stuff. He just, he just, I don't know. The guy still believes in the olden days. He thinks Goblack's like still on his team or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, where's my Abba? But uh, I think uh, I mean they've. I'm looking through. They haven't really picked any big combos. They've done it with like DK before for like the Bloodlust. They've done it with Life Stealer. Ooh. And uh, we are going to get the Disruptor who got banned out uh, last game is the last one there from Liquid. Oh, this is your Quap hard counter. We saw this one yesterday. That's what it was. I knew there was some hero that messed her up like crazy. Dude, we saw Damn. it yesterday. And if you're <laughs> a little patient on the Disruptor and you wait for her to blink a little aggressively, you drop that combo. Oh. Of course, Glimpse, also amazing. Well, she kept Yulesing too, right? Yeah. <laughs> she was just Yules. Oh, they had Shadow Demon too. So she was getting disrupted and ultied. That was the other one. All right. Well, mm. Disruptor allies could be coming out after uh, with additional vision heroes. They could still get the Beastmaster theoretically and put the DP in the mid yeah, or, or the yeah. safe even. But Liquid should be a Taiga hero here. Uh, potential savers from Disruptor. You have the Venge. Um, <laughs> you have... I, mean, I guess Dazzle does count as a saver, but not oh, one yeah. that we've seen at all. Uh, Tusk sort of works we've seen that occasionally where you just like snowball yeah. through but obviously that's much harder to execute they have the weaver we've seen that quite a bit too hey man od agonims get those defensive astrals going no nah, i'm good nah i'm good i mean grimstroke's even... really nice with queen of pain i could see a grimstroke pick here into a uh into a weaver core that would be something like would like that kind of combo very mobile You know, I'm not upset that OD is in the dumpster right now. I was so tired of seeing that hero. Yeah, I can agree with that. Uh, I'm fine. Let, let that hero die. He's sort of fun to watch, miserable to play against when he's buffed. I, it is nice watching like to the anticipation of the big hammer when you're casting, and you don't know if he's going to get yeah. off because he keeps getting greedier and greedier with that next hit, trying to get more and more stacks. And they will settle for a much... Hmm. Much calmer support in the Witch Doctor. Okay. A little more team fight. Obviously, uh, some damage has the potential to solo kill people with the curse. It makes me think they're just going to play really fast five man. Because like, that's what they do when they have the Lycan, too. Great against Death Prophet. I think the uh, Maledict just gives you a great tool to make her life difficult. But now someone Witch Doctor absolutely hates playing against. It's Ricky. AoE, Smoke Cloud, so good against all three of these heroes, but namely the Witch Doctor and the Queen of Pain. Two forms of silence now. Oof. A nice mobile carry for them. I feel like Boxy's going to have to play this Queen of Pain because I, I think this Queen of Pain's going to suck. <laughs> I mean, dude, two forms of AoE silence. It's yeah. three. Three. Three with the Death Prophet. I would be handing this thing off to Boxy and be like, yo, good luck, dude. I'm sorry. This is where you're like, hey, can I cash in my get out of jail free card and get a mulligan? Yeah. Because can, <laughs> can I get an offlane queen here, please? Uh, yeah. 
You gotta help out your your one and your two here, friend. All right, so who are the heroes remaining that Liquid can pick that don't care about silence at all? All right, here's one of them. That's an interesting solution. Oh. Great pairing with the Witch Doctor. Minus armor to go with the Death Ward. I mean, you're definitely being PA, right? Just don't don't let them PA you. Don't give me any of this slard RPA. I swear, that, that stuff's still good. It doesn't matter how much heroes get changed. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, that That will be pretty obnoxious. I like this slard I pick a lot. Great against DP. She already has armor issues. Uh, the amplified damage or corrosive bullshit, whatever it's called, is very effective against her. Obviously very good against Ricky. Gives you a tool to scout him out. Fly to Moon, respecting the PL that they won their game one with, and they will ban it. That leaves the PA available. Do you like anything more than PA for Liquid Trick? Because I'm not sure that I do. I mean, PA is still... I'm not saying it's like a a guaranteed win, but man, it is still a pretty broken combo. Uh, would it be enough, though? Maybe a kind of control. a zero tower push tricore. True. But at least it is like a BKB hero. But her only accelerator would be the Slarder. I mean, what else have they done? They do the Lone Druid with it quite a bit. Uh, Lone yeah, Druid's also like, fairly good with the Slarder. I mean, that gives them some push. Maybe the Lone Druid is a little more in the vein of how Liquid like to play it. I think Lone Druid just really sucks versus Death Prophet, though. Like That hero's really damn good versus Lone Druid, right? Because like she just lives off of the bear because it's percent base. Hmm. That's a good point. They ban an oh, Underlord. All right, we're going all in. Where, what are we doing? So they they think all it's right. a mid. There it is. You called it. Ban the PA. damn PA. I swear, if they win this game, maybe this is the maybe this is just the bait. They're like, you know what? You can have PA, man. She's bad. We'll see. I don't know. I would feel terrible losing to Slurred our PA in 2020. She's such a weird hero. Like You see the games where she gets shut down, and it just feels so one-dimensional, but when she can find those pickoffs, she can break games wide open. And there are heroes that you can feed, like Disruptor will uh, be a hero she can feed on. I don't know how the Ricky versus PA matchup kind of feels goes. like a Darkseer game, but I don't know if they're Darkseer gamers. And that would put you on some weird timings too, I guess, if General's yeah, on the Death Prophet. But I, like, that's why the Underlord band's good, though, because I feel like you want those kind of auras, right? And the atrophy reduction, oh, that would have been sick. I mean, I thought they'd be looking to pick a mid and put General on the DP this whole time. Yeah, but then you have to find a matchup versus the Queen's the only thing. So, wow, they're going to take the TA. Whoa. All right. Well, minus armor deluxe. Both sides with some Roche options. Boxy will be the one to take the Slardar. Mickey on the PA, and that leaves the Koikster on the Queen of Pain. And no TA surprise, Iceberg is the Queen on of the Pain. TA. The year is 2015. <laughs> The Sentry Ward comes to the mid lane. There's a battle to see if Queen of Pain will connect the dagger or if Templar Assassin will dodge it with Meld. What a time that was. Yeah. That was like every game. This is a skill-based matchup. I remember hearing the casters. How does this matchup go now? Has it changed much? It's I feel like we almost for never TA? see this now. Uh, no, I, I, I'm trying to think how long it's been since I saw this mid matchup, and I... I'm having trouble coming up with much. I think it just comes down to like the sentries are just not nearly as much of an issue, obviously, because you always have a courier, right? That's one thing. Um, they actually recently held this matchup uh, where it was uh, Iceberg playing the TA into Alliance's Queen of Pain from Limp. And uh, yeah, he lost mid. I mean, to be expected. Iceberg Iceberg lost mid? Yeah. Okay. So it should be Queen favored. I mean, that's what it's always been, right? I mean, always been matchup wise, but like. If you have the sentry, you win the lane, right? That's pretty much what it came down sure. to as queen. Sure. Well, I kind of like this liquid draft. Uh, excited to see this mid matchup, but uh, PA Slardar and a Witch Doctor on top. I'm excited to see some Insania Witch Doctor. You ready for some five Doctor action, dude? You ready to stop talking shit about my boy Witch Doctor when they win this game and eliminate FTM from Dota Pit? Listen, it's like... I just I like Witch Doctor so much that I I just don't believe he's good enough yet. I don't, I don't want him to be good. I need to keep hating on him so he gets buffed. Are you ready to see this Voodoo Restoration destroy this safe lane? Who is he with? Or who's he against? I mean, Death Prophet and uh, Ogre probably. Yeah, it looks that way. That that seems like a pretty good lane. 
I would be happy with this if I was the uh, witch doctor PA. I feel like so, you'll still get for real, far. Though, I want you to call it, Trent. At what level does he skill up voodoo restoration? This is the ultimate test. Mm. I think level two. That is a very hard question. Is the ogre going to stay? Two mangoes. Daggers coming out. Two uh, or three, but I think it'll come out earlier rather than later, if I had to guess. I'm going with the the very bold level one. You ready? Oh, the puppy call. Okay. Yeah, All right, yeah. KL Major Trent. All right. <laughs> Big City Dwight. Let's see it. I'm stoked. I'm going to be watching this witch doctor. And a lot level of it depends one. on the initial creep placement. The way I envision it is the the first wave ends up right next to their tower, and then Insania is just trying to heal Mickey while he's being bombed and uh, spirit siphoned and, and moved back, so he can still farm and not have to rely solely on dagger. I think that. Oh, happen. don't contest the runes. All right, good. but he'll use cask as a tool to stop it. <laughs> that was close. level two comes out. Yeah, they're just gonna ditch. <laughs> All right. So that'll give us a Slardar Rubik off lane for Liquid going into the Ricky Disruptor. All right, so they think that there's a ward there. We'll see if they end up missing it. Did you see where their general's pinging right here? He thinks the ward is. So depending on that, where they place that sentry, they might still get the one that insane they close. This is a very sneaky ward. No one wards right here, right? We'll see. Not it's coming really. on a courier. It is a pretty interesting ward spot. Yeah, because everyone goes up here usually, right? And they hide on the sides. Yeah, it's way deeper than usual. But he's going to place it right here and catch it. You ready? I think not. Probably. The way the lane's positioned. Dude, that courier, what are you doing? Oh! What? Right, that, that wasn't even like an attempt at micro. That was almost an attempted at suicide. There's the level one cash. Shit. <laughs> Look at my stamps right. he's taking, though. I went bold, all right? It was a. Uh... It was an, an okay call. I think there was a chance that you go for it level one. I got it. Puppy is like the only person I've seen do that, though. It happens when you have Spectre, too. Yeah, that's fair. Tiger up top, taking some damage. He will TP out. Does TP to the tower, though, so he's going to try to tango up. Uh, we'll see how this goes this time for Iceberg. I was actually checking the numbers. So at four minutes, mm -hmm. it was 26 last hits for Limp and 12 for Iceberg. And for a reference point of the last time he played this matchup. 26 to 12. Yeah, which sounds ab about right, considering the, the history of Queen of Pain and TA. Sounds a little higher than maybe I would have expected. Yeah, I think he might have died. I'm not sure when he got killed, but he did get killed in that lane eventually, probably going for an aggressive play. Okay. Uh, you can see the Quap able to put on so much pressure with the dagger. Hits level 3, of course, gets that second point in Shadow Strike. And level three is brutal. Like this is where it gets like really bad. Yep. It's one of those matchups. Like even if the CS look a little bit even, the TA is gonna have to spend so much more on regen. And uh, nice use of the react or refraction there. Uh, make sure the healing salve doesn't get canceled. I think it's funny that the meld thing doesn't even come into play anymore. Like no one even plays the matchup like that. Although he did bring a sentry just in case. So there you go. Maybe that's why he didn't, right? <laughs> yeah. Iceberg just checks his inventory. He's like, yeah, no. Yeah, hi. I wonder if there would be like newer mids that wouldn't even bring it. So how come Kaiga is getting bullied so here? We always talk about how uh, Disruptor... Yo, yo. Iceberg's hitting these mid. Is he? Uh, yeah. Denied. And he, was, he just got him with like three in a, in a row. I was getting a little worried for Koifa. Uh Sorry, what were you saying? About uh, uh -oh, a lot of dance dying? Died. Yeah. I was gonna say, he was bullying the shit out of Taiga. But uh, I guess the Slardar woke up from his nap and said, wait, wait a second. I got Bash of the Deep, boys. It's a Disruptor. All right, well, I answered my own question. Quickfus Courier is taking a sweet time here. Now he'll finally get his regen. But, uh, yeah, Iceberg, doing pretty well. Doing very well. This I mean, even. It's TA favored right now. Maybe he figured something out last time. Iceberg slaying it. Now, that's CS, though. Looking at net worth. He's still ahead, ahead, I think. Last still time I checked. Ahead. Yeah. Okay. Hats off to Iceberg. I mean, he's got the blink now, though, right? Is this the problem? Foxy up top. Going to be in some trouble. Kinetic Field comes out. V-Tune. Can't really go blow for blow with him, though. 
I'm gonna have to let Boxy back. Top tower is under Man, I feel like Icebergs is hitting way too many side blades. Is Koifa just not using Radiant his range advantage? I think he's just getting hit every time. He's just like, he's just missing the angles. But now this looks like a bit of a problem moment here for Iceberg. He's got a fairy fire to work with. Again, these side blades, man, he is connecting, and that's a lot of damage that Koifa's taking. Another refraction. Yeah, he's got to go down. He oh, does get the regen room. Oh, my God. And he had vision, too. That was a fly to moon ward, and Koifa gets that. Oh. All right, well, that, that's a little painful, but... Maybe it'll level things out. 21-8 on the TA compared to the 15-2 Queen of Pain. Koikva needed that. I'm not going to lie. I mean, now the lane's just his. On the regen like that. That's so obnoxious. Like, he doesn't have anything coming. He's just walking. That's it. Lane's over. <laughs> and I know some runes are stronger on different heroes for various reasons, but... I wouldn't be upset if regen rune couldn't spawn at four minutes. It's a little too good if a mid laner gets it. I don't know. Thoughts? Well, you know, supports can rotate, supports can help, impacts from side lanes, yada yada yada. Any yeah. rune can be good. A DD can be just as good as a regen in a lot of situations. Can be. Okay, maybe not. But. Boxy up top, Aloha Dance, he's taking the bash of the deep with the kinetic field. Oh, he gets the bash, and now the Slytherin Crush, V-Tune. He will live, thanks to the tricks of the trade. My deepest thanks. Good old Slardar, man. This was such a good pick. I I'm so glad that Liquid still keeps Slardar in their repertoire. He's having a great lane so far. Although, yeah, as is not the much lane Ricky can do, because like if Ricky tries to uh, to like one v one you or something, he just always has to worry about that oh, uh, that bash of the deep and the, the crush. I'm sure it's a little bit of a momentum based thing too. Like we're getting that first kill probably helped a lot for Boxy. Yeah. Like Definitely. having a... Uh, oh, snap. Oh! Koika finds it. That's the level six. So oh, Sonic Wave. That regen rune, dude. I would be so mad. <laughs> Iceberg's having a rough go. He really is. How did uh, the bounty runes go? Looks even. Up top, Taiga. Caught inside the kinetic field here. V-Tune. Boxy just walking over, though, with the threat of the wand crush is enough to drive them back. They're afraid of the Slardar, man. That's what I think Slardar is underestimated as a laner. You think of him as, well, he's going to reveal the Ricky, obviously. It's like, yeah, but it's yeah. also good because he bullies the shit out of the Ricky in lane. Slardar wins most 1v1 melee matchups. Bash of the Deep is just, you can't trade with him. He hits hard and the stun lets him control the fight because he's also got Slithering Crush on top of that. Big fan. He's one of these laners that you play against, and then the second he gets any sort of sustain, it just feels awful. Like, he still only has the treads for now, so he isn't queued into any sort of, like, a lifesteal, or just, like, a, like, usually it's the ring of health or something. Although we have seen more of a mask in the past, too, but... Yeah, curious what build he'll go for. You know, like, Vlad's blink. Probably Vlad's. Yep. Yeah. like Vlad's on Slardar quite a bit, mid lane. See Iceberg in some trouble, the cask bouncing all around. Witch Doctor, level 4. Queen of Pain does have the blink, she'll be fine, of course. And uh, Insania, 202 at level 4 on Witch Doctor. No voodoo restoration, bud. None needed. It would seem. Like, the bottom lane, they weren't able to get enough. No pressure. I, I really thought the pressure would be a little bit more. All right. I mean, it definitely feels good on Witch Doctor when you don't have to get Voodoo Restoration and you can just go all-out damage and be more of a kill threat. This certainly gives Insania some... Potential options. He's slower than hell, but... I mean, it looks like General's lasses are extremely good, though, with the phase boost. Like, maybe he just hasn't been focused that much on shutting down and more so on, like, his own game, you know what I mean? Like, not diving and stuff. But that's still a pretty scary thought versus a Phantom Assassin. She wow. turns a, a little pile of gold into quite a mountain of gold. TA... It's now okay. bottom of the cores, man. Feels bad after such a great start. And Koikva has his uh, his sentry ward here and the ulti again, so V2 needs to be very careful. Yeah, this is awkward. They're, they're trying to switch things up so that Iceberg can get some farm. Ricky not getting what he wants out of the top lane, but... Dude, if he gets daggered again, he, he just can't be here. Yeah, now Slardar's free farming. Disruptor has to hide Please. under the tower top. They're not really pressuring the PA. I mean, General is getting farmed, but so is the PA. 
And now he doesn't know about this sentry yet, right? Because he just hit six. So if he comes in and gets too greedy, Kong has got to be tempted to just blink on him, right? Oh, he's thinking about it. Yeah, that's it. That's what he needed. That was a disjoint. Nice tricks, Dodge. It's only level two tricks of the trade, though. Koikpa reveals the sentry, hits him with another dagger. At the level four dagger, you see how much it ticks him down. <laughs> oh, I'm out of here. Hey, yo, TA, you want to share the jungle? Who's farming top? Anybody? Guys, I don't know where to go. Uh, problems arising here, I believe. Dude, look at this boxy. He's just gonna go straight blink. He's like, okay, I didn't really expect to be free farming at nine minutes in the off lane. So, guys, I think I'm gonna go for it. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna take the risky play and go straight blink. What do you say? And let him play very aggressive with Koikva. Uh, that smoke just got pinged out by General. They saw it on the ward, so. Dude, look at boxy up top. It's two on one and he sees Aloha dance and just charges straight at him. Not a care in the world. Aloha Dance does drop the kinetic field, but another bash, it clips him. You just can't walk away from He's this guy. Saved. <laughs> the glimpse wasn't even enough. Insania down bottom, or uh, sorry, in the jungle, they do find always want to fly. And that was the smoke that General pinged too. But General was able to get that outpost, so they deny the XP, at least from Liquid. But uh, cool, General's the up. only one farming right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? I guess the TA's yeah. hitting neutrals too, but that's costing the Ricky some space. I mean, Iceberg is, is doing okay, given the current state of affairs. He's actually caught up pretty darn well with these jungle rotations. But your Ricky is in dangerous territory of uh, turning into a glorified support if this keeps up. And they have that vision. This combo. Oh, nice disjoint. The curse does hit him, but the TP repels the Slardar. Thought they might actually commit for that Ricky kill with the level three Maledict. They definitely could have gotten it. Yeah, but. you see, Insane is walking over to the sentry though because he's got the ulti now. So he just tomed up. Oh, oh! the <laughs> Quakester with the alley oop. Yeah, that was nice. I mean, I, mean I know he wanted over. to use the arcane room, but I wasn't expecting such a good circumstance. That's for sure. Meanwhile, Taiga Radiant still farming mid has sold the refraction and he stacks the camp at the same time. What a player. Mickey just quietly abusing Phantom that Assassin's little no vision Some thing. Let anyone just hey, just ignore me, guys. It's fine. Yep. I like this. Uh, you know, no battle fury or anything. Dyer's just straight deso. Synergy attack. with the Slardar. We know our timing. We're not going to do anything crazy. Insania with a solo kill opportunity, but maybe hesitated just a little bit on that uh, death Dyer's ward. And always going to fly will be just attack. fine. What's uh, what's Dyer's General doing up here? It's pretty low. Side. They're going to try this with the wand. Worthy tribute. They're going to try and bait in Boxy, I guess. I mean, it's only a level that's, two glimpse. Not going to work. Boxy's so close to his blink. He's playing it safe. He's like, I'm not dying. I'm going to go grab me a few mangoes. Hit me some jungle. And Mickey, again, just blurred here on the creep wave. So V-Tune's going to find him. And meanwhile, Taiga's like, yo, boys, I got a triple stack here. Attack. Anybody trying to go hunting? We got a family of centaurs that's really been... Itching for a hurting. Six nil here in game three. A great start for Liquid. Even this camp double stacked. Man. Even a poor man shield now too. What a perfect item this game for Mickey. <laughs> in case he gets gagged for so Ricky to TA. Yep. PA's dream. I uh, I fear for the lives of Fly to Moon. This this game looks like it's it's falling out of control. Dyer, it's all yes. on Iceberg. They they need some humongous plays of this TA, and I I don't know the supports like <laughs> TA and Disruptor is a great combo. It's like the number one vision hero we talk about uh, when it comes to like making good use of the glimpse. So if they can find that like one pick, the snowball is very uh, feasible because you can just trap ahead at a super long range for the disruption or the the glimpse. But she is in big trouble. Dyer's it's super that's dead. A, that's a dead TA. And unfortunate timing is FTM had just smoked up on the other side of the jungle. I think they were out ready to make a rotation, and Liquid beat him to the punch. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. <laughs> Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh, General smoked up. Bloodlust said just watching his tower die. Dyer's Always want five sides to die. Falling. Dyer's top tower. 
Let's have some backup, but there's the death ward. He's like, it's, it's like, is, are they baiting? <laughs> Don't make a big mess. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make a big mess. <laughs> now they're gonna no, go Ricky. Oh the my god, that was a 50-50 chance that he died right there. Exorcism comes out from General, and Boxy might be in trouble. Glimpse gonna pull him into a static storm, kinetic field combo, Iceberg finds some vengeance. And okay, so it worked. To rest. That is it, something. In the end, that was because of Always Wanna Fly Speed. Yep. So there you go. It paid off. Oh look, Rubik's got a stolen Exorcism. He's got green cubes flying around. That's, uh, I don't think I've ever seen the cubes. That's kind of funny. That's a very weird looking cosmetic. <laughs> if it weren't for the sound effect, I think I would have been like, what the hell is going on right now? <laughs> Do they all just run back? Oh, look at that. That's hilarious. All right, that's a value arcana right there. Radiance bottom yeah. tower I mean, we all, we all knew that was coming. Ever since arcanas were introduced, it's like one day there will be Rubik and he will have the most epic arcana known to Dota players around the world. I mean, the, the craziest thing in the history of Arcanas is that Zeus somehow beat Queen of Pain. I, I just, I still don't understand how that happened. Yeah. I feel I like Queen of Pain's the, one of those iconic Dota heroes. I wonder what the Quap one would have looked like. I'm sure they would have went full troll mode, mode and just covered her entire body. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a big suit of armor. From bikini to suit of armor, that, that would be pretty good, actually. Well, at least FTM have found their first kill. 8 to 1 at 15 minutes certainly feels rough. Ricky has half of a defusal. Now, he is dancing in the jungle, so it seems V-Tune is still keeping a positive demeanor. That's good. But hopefully he's going to get to hit some creeps at some point. I'm watching him just run around right now. He's so slow. I don't know. You think he's... Yeah, I, I mean, know. 320 just feels like not that... Like, this ogre is 355. Okay, he gets bloodlusted. He's cruising now. He's got the Jordans. He's going to find some ogres. <laughs> Finally, a creep wave that he can farm safely as it gets shoved into his tier Dyer's two. Top tower is under you know, another Rubik thing is, that... is about at his net worth, Radiant's dude. We're, we're going to see a core tower. Rubik from Taiga this game. Well, at least part of this is that it is a queen of pain. And we have seen these games where they're signing a snowball. And she blinks like a little bit too far ahead, right? And Disruptor is there to punish. We, we still have a lot of these hero counters that we were discussing during the draft that do exist. So could also be why you're not seeing Liquid go like crazy on the, the hyper aggression right now, too. And are they really not going to buy Vlad's on anyone? Dyer are scanning. Boxy's just so far. He's yes. like, I want a Halberd instead. Why, do my, why does my PA need lifesteal if the TA can't right click anyway? Wow, big brain Mickey, stuff right there. He switched it up, dude. I thought he was going the Deso. He has reverted back to the Battle Fury. And he's committed. He's got a broadsword and a hammer, so... I guess there's two ways to look at it, right? It's like, we're kind of dominating, and I'm not worried about late game. Late game, I wouldn't be concerned either. I think PA with BKB is an absolute monster this game. There's no doubt about it, so... Battle Fury, late game items, Abyssal, BKB, blah, blah, blah. Can look really good. But you could also say, man, we could go so Nectar with Deso and Corrosive. <laughs> like, Nectar. Blow up anybody. Hell yeah, dude. We're bringing back Nectar. I think that was popular with skateboarding in the 90s. Yeah, yeah, so. you're definitely a Nectar sayer. That's, that's what brought it out of me. I was watching Johnny Tsunami the other day, and it's just, <laughs> the lingo's too much, man. It's, it's infectious. Radiant are scanning. A radiant scan, a booyah. They catch him. Roshan. And it's still red, so they know they're Roshig. And now it's going to take even longer because we got to do our little double meld thing. No, they're waiting for the meld. Okay. Radiant's yeah, all right. Yeah, you're right. And it looks like it for a moment, but he Boxy missed. comes straight in, misses the stun, gets stunned up in return. Witch Doctor gets jumped on, looking like a bad one for Liquid. Insania glimpsed back, Ooh. destroyed by the TA. <laughs> oh, no. Well, Boxy had the right idea, but FTM were just a step ahead. They were, like, right on the edge of the darkness in the Roche pit. Yeah, that was the right moment to back out of that one, that's for sure. Well, this will pay some dividends, and now TA. I mean, Iceberg has done a great job maintaining farm momentum. 8,600 net worth at 18 minutes. Uh-oh. 
Maybe uh, these concerns about like, you know, leaning back and stuff was okay, Darius but at the same time, time like, I, I think this this falls on the faults of Queen of Pain as a hero. I think people are worried about just feeding away. Like he wants his BKB. Sort of hitting a little bit of a wall, and I mean, you need the BKB, but it also doesn't feel like that changes too much with the co-op. You know, it's not like TA getting a blink or TA getting a desolator or something. It's also just tower push, right? Again, becoming an issue. Yeah. Where it's just like, it's very hard to just run up to these these lanes and just start pushing towers. Like, think about the lead they have and they were only able to get like the two towers, and now it's down to just a 3k lead too. FTM. Doing a great job hanging in there. Man, have Vampire yeah. Fang's been that gutted? I, I feel like I see them get ignored constantly. 15%. The, the night vision is probably good for supports, I feel like. I mean, Ogre has no items, so... You know, always want to fly, you could grab something. Yeah, that's true. Certainly an upgrade there. Structures are fortified. I don't know, Vampire Fangs aren't that bad. No neutral items are just the are, are the worst offenders. He's going for the Arcane Ring instead, alright, fair enough. Anyway, uh, the Queen, Queen of, Pain. of Pain, silenced up, but able to walk away. Did have an invis in the bottle, Radiant's so she'll be fine. Bounty fall. runes come out. Not much of a skirmish. Ricky slowly recovering. I do think there is a timing issue for Fly to Moon, though, right? Like, again, we're talking about this BKB PA going to be scary. BKB Slardar going to be terrifying this game, too. I think he has to go BKB right after this helm. I, yeah, I don't think he can delay with another, uh, like, team item. And there is a Ghost after for Taiga now, too. That's going to be a huge help in these team fights as well. Makes him pretty much immune unless he's getting targeted directly by like the ogre or the death prophet, and that's not their main concern. FTM getting a little more aggressive. I want to put this Deso Aegis combo to good use. And Liquid do not want to fight. They're just gonna let this tier two go down. Yeah, they just want to hit creeps right now. Honestly, they're not losing that much. They're still holding the tier one mid. Yeah. That'll probably be the one they try and contest at least a little bit. But with two minutes left on the Aegis, maybe is that too tall of an order as well? They have good vision in the area. This could be important for their decision to actually contest here. And they find a jump. A haste on Koikva as well. Everything available for FTM right now, including the Exorcism. Iceberg in pretty far behind the tower. I, I don't know. I don't think they can fight this. Yeah, Boxy's not here. They gotta let it go too. Okay, even with the setup. Middle tower has smoke. We're gonna smoke. Dyer Where are they going? Smoked. They don't know. Some say left, some say up. Iceberg runs into Mickey. It looks like that smoke wasn't revealed, and Mickey just gets back. Oh, Mickey! Oh. Iceberg's Iceberg a little bit crazy. In pretty far. They're gonna continue to commit. Insania silenced up. Ricky jumps back out. Boxy now initiating on to always want to fly. Liquid are going to be able to take this fight. The disruptor gets popped. Iceberg. Weird over commitment. So I think he blinked for it trying to get vision for the the glimpse, I guess, right? To probably glimpse him back into like a silence or something. Yeah, that's a sounds like a reasonable explanation. But yeah, that was a very aggressive one. Then they kind of felt like they had to follow up there. I mean, knowing that the PA went Battle Fury, I, I do understand why it seems like they want to try to pressure. Oh, yeah. Certainly because Mickey is accelerating, but also just because she's not that scary yet. And, and soon I guess so. Really glad that fight ended, I think, because he got to keep Trap. <laughs> it's like, I don't actually want to be forced to steal something else. <laughs> trap is just is such an awesome thing to steal as Rubik. So All they stay vision. after you take something else, right? Or do they disappear? I believe they stay and you have to manually use them. But it's not okay. a spell you get very often as Rubik, so I can't yeah. uh, confirm that's 100% how so, it works anymore. As long as they stay, it's very solid. You basically just get some, some extra wards and the occasional slow damage. I guess traps have been buffed quite a bit. They didn't used to do that damage, right? Or not as much. Is the TA Ags relevant at all? I, I always forget about that one, where you, it gives you, like, boots of travel, essentially, to your traps. Psionic oh. projection. Hey, want to hear an interesting... Oh, I'll tell you after, as they okay. do get a kill on Loha Dance. Disruptor. I, I think say he's as if he's yeah. dead already. Okay. And TP out from Boxy. Good call. So, interesting fact. 
Uh, you can indeed do the traps after. Uh, but if you... If the spell is somehow cast after he already loses the spell, the damage won't be amplified from his spell amplification. Uh, so if you lose the trap, the the talent spell amplification won't be impacted. Interesting. So Arcane Supremacy only works on what he has right now. And well, Diego's now, I'm not sure if it's for Arcane Supremacy. I think it's actually just for the talent of spell amplification, which is weird. Anyway, more important things happening. Yes, sir. Buyback from the Witch Doctor. They're ready to fight this. Always want to fly. Does go down. A PA dagger gets him. More cubes from the Rubik. Taiga, it's going to be some exorcism on exorcism action. Koikba takes big damage, but does secure the kill. And it doesn't look like they'll be able to follow up to finish him off. Liquid finding a couple of catches. Now going in onto Iceberg. The TA has Corrosive Haze. Going to take a lot of damage. The Slardar, though, silenced. Boxy looking for a stun. Can't find it. And now look at that damage. Iceberg just destroyed, though. Mickey with this Desolator. He is online and ready to go. Yules throws up Aloha Dance and comes right back down to his death. Koikba will be fine. And that is a four for one, really. It started with that kill on Insania he bought back, so did take a little bit, but a big win for Liquid at the end. Yeah, you know what was a good idea? Not fighting those towers with the Roche. <laughs> like, waiting till Fly to Moon got over aggressive and dove. Waiting for that the was a very good decision. Deso. I think that was yeah. a, a big part of it, too. Yeah, just like, yeah, exactly. Just like not initiating too early. Um, so I can confirm. Obviously, you can see the traps do stay. Uh, now, if you pop them after, they actually do the level one damage. Uh, and they are not affected by Arcane Supremacy though, right? or the talent, so it's either one. Okay. So they get no spell amp after you've lost the spell. So there you they go. They still hit for 400, though. How neat. How neat. Look at these Dota mechanics we're learning together here, friends. Well, you always got to keep yourself updated. You never know when something's changed. Dude, exactly. You can't get cocky when it comes to Dota mechanics. I mean, for example, are... the description I'm reading still includes or spell amp, but he still gets it from that of his intelligence and items. <laughs> it's like, well, <laughs> not anymore. I love the arcane supremacy lore. Not every Magus can be a grand Magus. Mm, yes, indeed. Probably true for most things in life. You can't all be the best or else the I'll best be OG. wouldn't be a thing. Or we'd just be OG. <laughs> yeah, I think that AUI tweet about uh, OG is, encapsulates it perfectly. It's like, all three of these players I thought were the best in the world at one time, and now they're all on the same team. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I meant old OG. You know, the one oh, that won two oh. TIs. Oh, that one. Yeah, you know, okay. it's, it's hard to not be the best when you do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Undisputed. I've been watching The Last Dance. I, I was going to say, Jack's got that Michael Jordan retirement, you know? He two-timed yeah, that, dude. he got out. <laughs> uh, yo, General's still just standing there. <laughs> okay. Not an illusion. That was a hero. Forgot the micro is hero there. I'm not sure. I think it was just the blur vision. I think, I, I don't know. It did look like there was a team communication of bailing out while he was still just standing still. It's also just rare, like, you don't really see heroes stand still like a corpse like that, unless they're baiting <laughs> like or, like, in corpse. melves. Well, I mean, it usually was, people are... Was. Even if you're deciding, are we going to go in or go out, you're still clicking around, you're still moving, you're still thinking about army of creeps. He was just... He was chilling, dog. He was planted. <laughs> he was an oak tree. The mysteries really He's cracking another can of his insert sponsor energy drink here, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. I am... I am viable. <laughs> Hit me up on Twitter. Red Bull, we can talk. I really, I've always wanted to be sponsored by some underground energy drink. You know, something you've never heard of before. It's like, Red Rain! That was the discount one where I lived. <laughs> I love that rain, stuff, dude. dude. Well, FTM, they're, they're kind of moving around like they, they know they need to make something happen. Uh, this Rubik is continuing to scale pretty well. He is a big part of the gold lead that Liquid have, but it's also a, a little bit top-heavy. TA is the one keeping up. Everyone else on FTM starting to fall behind. 
Dyer's top tower. Smoke up initiation. right around Roche. They're going to find Insania. Could be a good pick, but he's got a Ghost Scepter. A smart choice. Gets off a cask. Somehow Insania lives, and now they turn onto the Ricky Maru. How Insania is he still alive? Insania just barely makes it back. v may be looking to jump in and will get the finisher. But Ricky has to pay with his life. On the backside, they kill Boxy. Buybacks one apiece so far. Mickey, BKB on. Just trying to get out. But now the turn onto General. The Deso's there. They might have enough with Slardar. It's going to be close. Quapult's got it. General's down. No buyback. Now this fight could be rough for FTM. I still has BKB. To be a little careful. That's the fresh BKB. A nine second charge. Ooh. That was 1400 damage. See ya, Ogre. Good night, sweet prince. Oh, the Yules. The BKB expires. The glimpse not in time, and Iceberg is going to go down. Now it's Mickey's turn to do the big damage. They also clean up Aloha Dance and FTM. They just Holy can't shit. find a W in these team fights. Koik was so good, dude. I who would like who would have spammed that? Like, what are the odds that a guy with a what was that second BKB? That was a nine-second BKB. Yeah. Right. How how did he realize he was barely gonna run out? Well, I read he was spamming that he on him. He clicked that's on him and looked at the debuffs, did the math. I mean, that's insane, dude. Yeah, Koik was the human calculator. Oh, Koikva. Where you been? <laughs> this man's got a TA. Is that what Koikva means in German? <laughs> it may, yeah, it translates to TI-89. <laughs> here we go, v -tune. Is he gonna get caught here? I don't think they have the vision. Instead, they're just going to kill his butts. Uh, they find another. It's the Ogre. Mickey popping off completely. 10-0-5. Just took that in front of their face. And he might die for it. Yeah. That was not worth it. They're, they're going to tune him like a piano. Shouldn't have trusted your eyes. Shit's over, dog. Liquid done it. Yeah. They are just running him down. Another one. They find General. Boxy glimpsed back. Koikba needs to watch the blade mail. Tyga, he's got stolen Spirit Scythe, and he's actually feeling pretty brave right about now, but Static Storm Kinetic Field does hurt. He almost lives, but does have to kill on General. Now Aloha Dan's going to be jumped on by Boxy. There aren't enough glimpses in the world to keep this Slardar at bay. Because meanwhile, in the mid lane, oh, look, it's Mickey. He's taking a Tier 3 with his buddy. Always want to fly. Don't get too close. And you called it. Mickey going to be able to dagger him one more time. And unfortunately, the glyph does not extend to the ogre, who is oh so close. <laughs> what is this tip? I mean, to be fair, he did just walk up and die. But still. For like the fourth time in a row. It's not like PA just got an item, you know? <laughs> it's a... I think if I were Take the me, not team, my buildings. I think my flame would be... D you know what she does, right? You've seen it four times now. <laughs> You just walk into her? Is that what we're doing? That's my favorite flame when people make plays like that. You know what her abilities are, right? Blessings. Poor I find it really helps to just condescendingly explain them really slowly. So, Phantom you know. Assassin has <laughs> the stifling dagger. <laughs> and she has blink strike. You know blink dagger? It's like that. <laughs> It sounds so much worse from a Canadian accent. Like, it's just extra aggressive or something. I don't know what it is. It's like extra passive. It's our, our naturally helpful while also sorry candor. <laughs> I couldn't possibly. Mickey? He still has an Aegis, by the way, and an 8-second yeah. BKB. It's all right, though. Iceberg's on the, the mission on the bottom lane. You know, it's a 20k deficit, but he's pushing. Dyer's top tower is under attack. All right. Radiant Siege continues. No glyph. Top you know those leashes that people put on their kids when they just won't behave and they I keep do. running like away? I do, like those little body harnesses, yeah. I feel like someone put the body harness on Liquid this game. And we're just like, listen, you will not go aggressive. You're not going to do something stupid after you win a team fight. You're going to get these items, and we're just going to win. And they were like, oh man, that does sound pretty good. And that's kind of what happened. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, whoa, now, whoa. now we're talking. Whoa. Let's go. All right, now remember, folks, iterating again, this is life in the tournament. Fly to Moon, playing for survival, 7 to 27. They are up against the ropes, and they've got the perfect item. Iceberg the smoke. has the repair. Are they out of smokes? Oh, no. Oh, no, they got one. General's got it. All right. All right. All right. So Do they see it? Oh, yeah, they pegged it. Uh, okay. Well, at least I think they did. Not the most exciting reveal for Iceberg, but this is the all-in, and I think They're it's warranted here. Into the age. I mean, they definitely see it now. Remember, this is into Aegis, though. I, I don't think you want this fight yet. Not right, they're, that they're much go. time on Aegis, but just enough that Liquid could get one more fight out of it. Yeah. 
Radiant or scary. This is quite the the smoke. I'm not sure what they thought. I guess they were just moving for uh, Mickey. They they actually just smoked to get him satanic. <laughs> that's, that's what they just did. All right. And good call from Fly to Moon. There's no point smoking out while the Aegis is still there, right? If you want your desperation fight with the Rapier, you wait till the Aegis is just expiring. So about 20 seconds. You want like 15 seconds left, maybe, when you leave the base. Can they? Can they do it? 2100 HP with a Satanic. Uh, let's assume that the Aegis expires and he doesn't have the Satanic in. That's like the one hope, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Then it's just gonna come down to the miss chance. That's what I love. Nothing but RNG. Oh, remember, she took the corruption. All right, she went for the full full blow up. No plus thirty percent. You know, maybe that'll be enough. Yeah. There's the smoke. Let's see it. The final hold from FTM. Three Yay. seconds left on the Aegis. Now's your chance. Go! Ha ha! <laughs> Aegis is gone. Basher back in. Preemptive essence ring and everything. And I like how she took the Basher out and put the Satanic in. Just, like, quick but new, right? Yep. There it is. Iceberg does some okay damage. They glimpse her back. Do they have it? It's close with the TA. She's disabled. Mickey does go down. They end the godlike streak. But Slardar, he's almost killing the TA. That'll cost him as well. Oh, no. Liquid. Insania is not going to make the TP. They're going to lose three. Liquid are doing it. They're dying. Dude. <laughs> Hey, that's that's uh that was nice. That's some rapier Dota. Man, he dropped so fast. Yeah, but he he did 390 damage total. I don't know. That that was such a weird play from Liquid. Like as soon as that Aegis expires, why why force it? You know they have the rapier. You know you're two lanes up. What's the I don't advantage? Because you, you feel like you're up 20k and you're invincible. Yeah, but the, uh, rapier, it doesn't matter how much you're up, a rapier coming out, that first fight is always scary. Yeah, but we always yell at Liquid for never pushing, so can't have your cake and eat it too, you know? Yeah. Don't you feel like they were strong enough to probably take that fight? Like one good blink crush, you know? Sort of. Maybe the PA, she didn't BKB the glimpse, right? Am I crazy? Wasn't that what kind of screwed it up? Um, maybe that was all they needed to do. The bait's fine. When you get glimpsed back in, that's when you pop the BKB and just reset the fight instead of trying to fight around your PA getting glimpsed back. Haste. Yeah. Maybe that was the blunder. So, yeah, I agree with the attempt, but... Well, that certainly makes this a little more interesting. Does that mean uh, we're waiting out next Roche? Is that, uh, is that where we're at? Uh... What is it? Seven second PKB? All right, dude. So you always complain about solo disruptor not getting farm. He just got destroyed in one hit. But look at that inventory, dude. He is a thousand gold away from an Aghanim Scepter. And that is a really scary item against heroes like Phantom Assassin. Yeah, it's just uh, that is a it's game one of the changer. best Ags in the whole game, for sure. Yeah, it, just, it negates so much of the advantage that your enemy has, right? Because it just cancels out all their items. So like a disruptor eggs with a TA that has a blink rapier Radiant BKB. General, general. Uh oh, a lot of heroes, bud. Uh oh, iceberg. He's also gonna get surrounded. They need to win this fight. Mickey, the rapier sort of sustaining. Oh. The rapier's down. Mickey gets a crit. He does pick it up. The PA has a rapier right now, but they might be able to bring him down again. No, it's too much just damage. Call it. GG. Liquid, find it. Yeah, they only need one. It's it was no biggie. I mean, yeah, that was a pretty disappointing ender, though. I mean, Flight of Moon didn't even use their ultimates, dude. They just got caught with their hand in the cookie jar and got punished super hard. After all oh. that, I thought we were going to start to see a cool comeback. They're going to claw it in. Uh, I'm, I'm disappointed. Sorry, Flight of Moon. It's that still a sad. long way back at that point. Well, yeah, I like long road trips. I like cruising. Man, that... Uh torrent of kills at like 25 minutes where they just took over that was crazy they just jumped across the whole map they killed yeah. i think always want fly died like four times in that segment he did <laughs> it went from a very even game to wow liquid are firmly in control and mickey only died once taiga only died once and koikva didn't die at all so pretty much all of their kills were on boxy and insania and this was a first phase queen of pain that we were concerned like look at the heroes i mean yeah 